Do you want to know the secret sauce to keeping a clean house as a super busy mom? Well, these five daily tasks from Clean Mama may be the answer. Let's talk. The true genius of these five tasks is that it, it tackles some of the things that I bet right now you're struggling with. So I want you to look around your house as I mention these and see if this is checking all your boxes. Number one, is your bed messy? So if your bed's totally messy, she's got you covered. So we're gonna start off in the bedroom. We need to make our bed every day. And you can do this whatever time works for you because with Clean Mama, she says, don't worry about it being at a specific time. Make it work in your schedule. So if you work third shift or if you've still got a spouse in the bed in the morning when you have to get up and get going, don't worry about it. As long as you get it done as soon as you can, that's all that matters. So don't overcomplicate it either. Pull the sheets and the comforter up, throw any pillows that you want on there and think about declutter even that she says get rid of that top sheet get rid of those throw pillows now I love my pillows so I'm gonna keep them because I like it and I make time for that but if you are that busy don't worry about all the extras put them away donate them and just simplify your life done so I let the camera roll the entire time I was making my bed and what it showed me is that I got that done with all those pillows in a minute and 14 seconds so really did not take very long at all is your counters and your kitchen looking crazy yes got it covered so one thing that she has you do is check the counters. So in the mornings, I like to check the bathroom counters because my husband usually has a lot of water spots from where he shaves and all that stuff. So to save time, I usually just have some wipes under the counter and I just grab one and wipe everything in my master bath and then I hit the other bathrooms as I'm looking for dirty clothes and all the things that I need to grab for the laundry for the day my side not as much but still want to give it a little love and while i'm wiping like my toothpaste i'll just go ahead and put it away so my daughter is in the bathroom getting ready so i'm gonna go ahead and just get to the kitchen and make sure the kitchen got shut down properly last night not bad it's bright well it's dark and bright but you can see my counters I keep them fairly clutter free because I like to shut it down at night so the really nice thing is that these tasks they all can be done throughout the day it doesn't have to happen all at once so when you find that you've got five or six minutes you can knock something off of your top five list really quick and easily and the bottom line is if it took a long time I wouldn't be doing it because I don't like to clean but I love a clean house. What about that laundry? Oh my gosh, that is the one that really hit me the hardest as a working and busy mom. The laundry was never ending. This will take care of that. So just about every cleaning routine that I have done has said one load of laundry a day. One of the tips that Clean Mama has is that when you're doing laundry, phase out the different style socks because you're gonna go and waste a lot of time looking for the match of these. Whereas if you just went with a basic sock, so if they were all say white and they were all the same style and the same brand, then every sock that you find would be a match for the next sock. You just pair them together, no big deal. Ugh, none of these match. Some other things that Clean Mama says is that you can start teaching the babies to help as early as like four and five years old, which is amazing. What she is saying is that get them involved from a very early age and then you are not gonna be the only one trying to clean up around the house. When you train the babies from an early age, then they will help keep things clean and tidy. Yep, just like she predicted. All the colored socks are found. And there's two lonely socks with no mate. Mm. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Don't tell anybody. So everybody has that one show that is their guilty pleasure. Like for me, it's reality TV. I go 
so crazy for it. I get so involved in it and I absolutely love it. And my husband thinks it's stupid. So I feel like I don't want to put it on the big TV in front of him because I don't want to be judged for like enjoying some crazy big brother or, you know, real housewives. So when there's a task that I'm dreading, for example, getting on the treadmill, hate it, riding the bike at the gym, hate it, doing laundry, hate it. When I'm doing those kinds of tasks, I'll put my earbuds in, get my phone somewhere handy, and I will start that. That way I can enjoy it, I look forward to it, and it really truly takes the pain out of doing that task away. So as a stay-at-home mom, there's a few advantages and a few disadvantages to um, the cleaning routine. The advantage is now I've gotten my morning started, I can sit down. So I'm gonna enjoy some coffee and kind of journal, do my Bible study, and then in about 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna get some stuff out and start supper. But if you're a working mom, this may be where you're running out the door. You may have started this at 5 a.m. It only took me about 15 minutes to do all of those three things. That's three of the five. So I'm already done with three of the five daily tasks. How about the floors? You have crumbs, you have dog hair, maybe you've got a few spills. That's on the list too. So while I'm in the kitchen, I noticed that although the kitchen floors still look pretty good and I always do a really quick sweep after dinner, but here in our spare bathroom we've just gotten that cat and i've got the litter box in here but i noticed that it's starting to have a lot of crumbles and i hate to step on any kind of a little crumble or something like that so i'm gonna grab the broom and get that swept up just super quick that way it is not getting spread throughout the house and the last thing is what about the clutter? Now, I'm not even talking about the boxes and the bins and all the things you got stuffed in a closet. I'm talking about where is the hot spot? Where do you have like that mail that you've not gone through in about two weeks? Where do you have all those kids' papers from school that they just keep bringing home that's piling up and making things look a little bit crazy? There are all big hot spots in my house. And when I started these routines, it took care of them. This is like my drop spot and I know that you guys know everybody has that hot spot. So when I come in, I usually just throw things here that I'm working on. And so like my coat didn't get hung up. You know, I've got my purse. I've got some mail I need to take back. I've got a package that I need to ship. So I need to go ahead and box this up and get it in my car, get it off the counter. I need to put the Aldi bag back in my car so that it's ready for my next trip hang out my coat and then if I just do those couple of things instantly all I have here now is a pretty countertop so the really cool thing is that I already have like a ton of videos so if you are enjoying clean mama's daily task and you want to know even more about clean mama check out the playlist that I'll link here at the end and also down in the description because you can totally deep dive and learn all that you can to get started today so I did a little bit throughout the day. I will recheck the floors and wipe the counters one more time after we get finished with our meals just because I like to go to bed with a shutdown kitchen. I make sure the dishes are in the dishwasher and it's started, the counters are all wiped, and there's no big messes on the floor. I don't always have to sweep the floor, but sometimes I get a little wild when I'm cooking and there's lots of crumbs and things. So, just depends on the day. But that is the way I have gotten my daily tasks done with Clean Mama, and it's working. It's very similar to the cleaning routines that, you know, Fly Lady and Clean Co and all of those others, they all have a basic five or six things that you need to do every day. And I will promise you, it really did change my life. So as always, I hope you had a very good day today and I hope you have the most amazing Christmas because I know this week it's crazy. Everybody is on steroids trying to get it all done. But guys, remember, breathe and just enjoy the moment. So, quick prayer. Heavenly Father, today is just a few days away from the most beautiful day of the entire year, and that's the day that you sent your Son here on earth 
to save us from our sins and our inequities and all of the evil that's in this world. Father God, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole and preach today. I just, I want to embrace these ladies. I want to lift them up. Help them to be filled with your peace and your joy in the season. Remind us that it's the quiet moments that we really need to focus on and not the hustle and bustle of the holidays. Father God, help us to slow down and enjoy the process. Help us to be renewed and filled with love and touch with family. Father God, help us to just do all the things that are truly important and take the moments that we need to to just love our family and celebrate the birth of Jesus. I hope and pray that each and every one of them that's hearing me can just have one little second to count their blessings and really pass on a tradition with their children that is more than a gift whether it's reading the Christmas story or watching a Christmas movie or, you know, cooking the cookies together, whatever little thing that they can do, slow it down and really don't rush that part because that's the important part. Anyways, Father God, thank you. And we just pray in Jesus name. Amen. So ladies, have a blessed week. I will see y'all as soon as I can, but until then, I've got lots of other videos for you that if you're wanting to deep dive, I've got you covered. Bye!